Hi everyone, welcome back to the Graphics Fair YouTube channel. Lisa here, and today I'm sharing a really cool quick tip with you. I'm gonna be showing you how to add a frayed fabric edge to your junk journal pages. And I was inspired to try this by one of our amazing design team members, Jane Chip of Willow Blue Vintage. Jane created the most beautiful Japanese ephemera junk journal for us a couple of weeks back. And if you missed it, I will put the link in the description below to that video. So thank you, Jane, for this idea. Now, Jane created her fabric edges of silk, but unfortunately, I didn't have any. So I'm using linen. I played around with a bunch of different fabrics, and I found that natural fabrics like silk, linen, or cotton seem to work the best. You want something very thin because you're going to be sandwiching it between two pieces of paper. So you don't want to add too much bulk. So something thin, silk is really ideal, but this linen also worked great, and I think cotton would as well. Silk can be expensive, so you can always check for some damaged clothing that you might have in the back of your closet or um, at a thrift store, or you could just purchase a small quarter or a half a yard or something from the fabric store to use to create the edge. And you wanna use the selvage edge of the fabric. If you're not a sewer, I'll explain really quickly. The selvage edge is just the side of the bolt of fabric as it comes from the fabric manufacturer. Normally you go to the fabric store and they will cut the um, top or the horizontal edge and then both sides have this selvage edge. I did try um, tearing a piece of fabric and, um, and then taking the threads out. And you can see here, it just doesn't quite have the same quality that the selvage edge has. Here's the selvage edge. You can see how fluffy and sort of delicate the edge is here. The other um, edge that I created by pulling the threads is much more even and a little less feathery. So I really do like the way that the selvage edge looks. So I just cut two strips the length of my page and about one inch in depth or width. And all we're going to be doing is gluing it between two pieces of paper. And here I have a printed out uh, journal page. This is from the premium membership site. I just printed it out exactly how you see it and then I tea dyed it. And this is just a tea dyed piece of paper that I have gone ahead and created a collage on so that I can show you exactly how to do this. So then you'll cut your two pieces to be approximately the same size and create your fold. And once you have that done, you can paper clip the edge to kind of keep it where you want it to be. And then it's very simple. I just used a uh, glue stick to glue down the piece of fabric and kind of get that situated where I want it. I want it to just stick out a little bit. It's going, there's going to be a little bit of the linen showing on this side because this page is a little short. And then on the back side, it's really just the fray. So that's why I use the glue stick to kind of allow me to um, glue the fabric down where I want it and it's a little bit adjustable. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'll just put a little strip of glue down and then just arrange your fabric exactly how you would like it. Let's see. Yeah, see how there's a little bit of the linen showing on this side, which I kind of like. And then on this side, it's just the fray. And if you get a bunch of pages like this, you don't have to do every page. Jane did, it looked like um, about, you know, five or six pages like this in her journal. And it just really makes the loveliest little fluffy texture. It's just gorgeous. So that's what I'm going to do here. 
All right, so that's, that's good, I think. Now I'm going to unclip and I'm just gonna use a brush and some Mod Podge. And I'm gonna quickly just apply some Mod Podge all over. And I'm gonna do both sides of the uh, paper so that I get a nice clean adhesion. All right, you get the idea. You would take your time here probably where I am rushing. And then I'll do the same thing on this side of the paper. Get a much better seal that way. All right. Now we're just gonna sandwich the two pieces together. I just wanna be certain to line up my seam there. I'll fold it and make sure that it looks, yep, that looks real good before I press it down. And then I'll go ahead and press it out. You could use a um, scraper for this if you want to. And I'm gonna just let that dry and then you can add it to your stack when you're creating your signature. And then you can sew in your signature like we did last week. So here is what it will look like on the edge. And I love it. It's so pretty. Isn't that nice? I just imagine like a whole journal filled with these fluffy pages. You can get an idea here. It'd be really pretty. So give it this a try. I hope that you like it. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below and I will answer them for you the best that I can. And be sure to give the video a like, subscribe here at the Graphics Fair YouTube channel. And if you want to receive a notification every time we post a new video, just click the bell button and you will be all set. You'll be sure not to miss a thing. So thank you all for watching today. Really appreciate it. And I hope that you have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.